And now, it's time to sit back and enjoy the Two True Freaks Internet Radio Broadcast. Welcome back to Ranger Chronicles. I am your host, Charlie Niemeyer, and today we're watching two more episodes of Power Rangers Lost Galaxy, and they are The Chameleon Warrior and To the Tenth Power, which I hear is a pretty important episode. <laughs> anyway, let's jump right into our first episode, which is exactly what we are going to do in three, two, one, go. Previously on Power Rangers Lost Galaxy. Father? Let me train you and the universe will shudder in fear at the name Trakina. Scorpius's power should be mine. Destroy Trakina and make it look like the Red Ranger did it. What would you want to do? I thought you were in danger, my queen. Red capsule site, fireball mode. Wow, they combined footage from two different episodes. Hmm. Well, for the fireball mode. Is this Mike? I haven't seen him do much of anything for a while. It's nice that they're either... Mimicking the sound so they actually included birds on the uh, Terra Venture. Way to sneak through there, dude. What do you think this is? retreat? Be careful with those parts, you nimrods! He is watching a lot of stuff here. I just realized a good portion of Kegler there is... Looks like a barrel. Okay, we're gonna pick up the GameCube game? A few years before the GameCube was the thing? Morph the one time. Wait, he already had the gun out. Well, how many times is he gonna take it out? My blaster! Fire! Oh, there's the disc. How do you know my moves? I not only do your moves, I do the better! Ooh! Tricky! This guy's too much for me. Hold on, Mike! All right, Camellia! That's enough! How does he know the name? Where'd he go? And where'd they come from? Are you alright? Yeah, I'm okay. But Villamax is up to something. And this disc just might tell us what it is. I feel like we came in the middle of something here. The Chameleon Warrior was the 29th episode of Power Rangers Lost Galaxy. It first aired on November 3rd, 1999, written by Judd Lin and directed by Ryuta Tasaki. Turn on 
He had a blaster just like mine. I don't you think that's really Kendrick's. Or Those Valerie like Vernon. Myself. That is. Okay, never mind. There was nothing I could do that he didn't already know how to defend and counterattack. Alpha, any luck with that computer disk? Not yet, Leo. It was badly damaged in the fight. What could they be hauling into the... Well, they should probably be putting it into That's a computer first. Out. I'll go with you. <sighs> You're not no, we have, have to point this po blinky worry. light thing at we'll you. Check it out. And then not do it. Alpha, let me see that disk. Here you go, Mike. Man, this thing got fried. Excellent work, Camellia. The Magna Defender is down for the count. But, can you do the same against five Power Rangers? I promise you that once I have completed my analysis of the Power Rangers' abilities, the chance of failure will be zero. Begin analysis! You have S archives. Scan it now. Extraordinary. Oh, look at that. The, he's watching footage they really don't show on the show. Focusing a lot on red. I see. Never mind. It's interesting he's only analyzing Sentai footage. I'm not sure we've seen all this footage before either. I suppose this is easier than just having this guy set up for like five episodes. <laughs> Fighting all the rangers. Sneaky guys. Things are coming together well. Yeah, if that piece goes under the laser, you two over here. I just love it when a plan comes together. <laughs> Classic A team reference. What do you have to report? Are you sure of this? Oh, the Kegler, the Power Rangers are on the way. But we're not ready for them yet. Camellia. Yes, I will be glad to handle this. You know, it's amazing. I mean, I know they're filming in California, obviously, but it amazes me that, to witness that. on a space station, until our laser can finish the job. they wouldn't have set up better weather so that the grass would be greener and less, it'd be less dry. I didn't show up, but I didn't think you'd take so long. What are you doing out here? That is for me to know. And for you to not find out, Stingwear! Ha <laughs> ha! Go, Galactus! Oh, this is the first time they do this. And possibly the only time they do it with Valerie Vernon. And by this, I mean all five. I 
But man, if he can mimic the freaking sword, what's the point? They can technically get the gal the uh, galaxy sabers. Wow, the quasar sabers, really, right? Ooh, nice blending of footage, though. Oh, that looked terrible, though. You didn't even raise it high enough. Why is he so much better at dodging than they are, though? How often has she ever clawed at the ground like that in this show? Copy this. Sort of. Really. He kicked us away like an old soccer ball. Kick it. Oh, well. Whoa. They just blew up. Goodbye, powerless rangers. He knew my moves perfectly. He even had a trans dagger like mine. It was almost like like he knew what I was thinking. He even reproduced the lights of Orion. We've got to try again. Who knows what he could be building out there? Uh, uh, no, listen. listen. Unless we have a strategy, we don't have a chance. But Kai, don't you see? He knows exactly what we're gonna do before we do it. He's like a computer. Zero error. He's right. But computers can make mistakes. If you give them the wrong information. Follow me. Is he really going to get anything from it? You should be in bed. <sighs> Reconstructing sectors 07 to 459. Now we're getting somewhere. That is all retrievable data. A laser gun? For what? Shooting? This time I won't be so easy on you. They shoot at out here. I don't know. But it looks like they're almost ready. They are Actually, the main question is why would they be building it on Terra Venture? What are they gonna shoot at it from Terra Venture? You rangers are so <laughs> ready, guys? Go! Relax. Oh, and then they get to do it again! Love to see this plan come together. They fight pretty good for people that just got their butts handed to them. Your history, Kamiliak. I know all of your moves. You can't win. All my moves, huh? We'll see about that. Oh, are they gonna fight? What? Fighting with different moves? Oh, 
Interesting, okay. My turn. Nice. Apparently it's quite possible. Now I'm gonna give you something one hundred percent red. Red Astro Yeah, you gotta sell the toy. Sentai version's a little cooler. Not a bad plan. What are you waiting for? Grow! Must defeat Power Rangers! Camellia, grow! Yeah! Nice zoom in on the crotch. Sheesh. A laser gun to destroy the Galacta Beasts. You've got to stop them. How do they know that? The beasts are on their way. Uh, prepare the laser. It is time. Online and knocking on the target. It won't be long now. Hurry up, Mike. Wow, one blast takes up all of them like that? That's pretty cool. Here's a question. Why didn't they even try to stop him? I mean, I'm not complaining. You know, you want the good guys to win, but he just stood there and said, No! Villamax is a fierce warrior. How can this be? The Galactic Beasts are still here. They're still here, but you won't be. Oh, that's just cheating. Shadow Force Megazord. Ooh, Shadow Force. Ooh. I haven't heard this music since last year. Well, last season, sorry. Oh, that's cheating too. How do you... What? Oh, a new weapon we haven't seen before? Oh, maybe it's from, um... Centaurus Megazord. Wait a minute, isn't that a Zeo song? I don't remember where it's from, but it's definitely not from this season.
How did they not oh, spot that sooner? I think he's saying thanks. Oh, well, you're welcome. Oh. Next time on Power Rangers Lost Galaxy. This will finally meet the destruction of the Power Ooh. Rangers. Ooh. Too late. Our first targets are the green and yellow ring. I am Psycho Red. You know, if you had no idea that was coming, you had to be psyched for that. Well, if you had seen last season. And considering that that season was airing also, well, during the first half of this season, during the weekdays, I would say people were probably well aware of, well, of In Space. Oh yeah, Best of the Best was actually from In Space. I knew it was from something sooner. Earlier. Sorry, wrong word. All right. Well, that's going to do it for our first episode. We're going to take a quick break, and I'll be right back with To the Tenth Power. Hey, need a power break? Yeah! Take five and energize with Power Rangers Lost Galaxy weekday afternoons. As you command. With five no-fear adrenaline pump teenagers. This isn't a playground. More high-flying flips. Yeah. More hyper-accelerating action. I'm not done. More larger-than-life transforming. I'm awesome. And turn up the heat adventure. Energy launch. Take five, five days a week, and watch Power Rangers Lost Galaxy, Monday through Friday afternoons at 3.30, only on Fox Kids. Fuck off! All right, and we're going to jump right into our second episode, which we are going to start here in three, two, one, go. Previously on Power Rangers Lost Galaxy. Goodbye, Trakina. Scorpius's power should be mine. Destroy Trakina and make it look like the Red Ranger did it. Who put you up to this? I thought you were in danger. Red capture the second. Fireball move. They Laser keep gun. doing that. They shoot at out here. Here they come. Goodbye, good luck to beasts. I think he's saying thanks. Now, see, it was cool. Previous time I saw this was uh, on the Best of Power Rangers DVD. They completely cut that part out. Of course I did. Give me the box. Excellent work. Good to see you again, my friends. This will finally bring an end to the Power Rangers. Huh? Did he start reacting before he shot? <laughs> I simply reprogrammed them for greater strength, and the Rangers will not have a chance against them. Simple reprogramming, genius, really? If you're right. I am right, my queen. But weren't they all destroyed? You need to stop asking questions before I destroy you! They weren't destroyed. They were merely digitized. <laughs> and all I need to do to bring them back to their full evil power is to insert the cards into this digital reanimator and press... Go! <laughs> I wonder if it's the same console that they used last time. Wow, it's like Star Trek or something. This would be a lot cooler if they didn't give it away last episode. To the Tenth Power was the 30th episode of Power Rangers Lost Galaxy. It first aired on November 4th, 1999, written by Judd Lin and directed by Ryuta Tasaki. Yeah. 
too late. Oh wow, you can actually see his face. I don't remember it being that obvious. Now, listen up. I've heard you can be a rough bunch. That's fine. As long as you do what I say. Our first targets are the green and yellow rangers. Excellent. Easy. No! I'm going after the blue ranger first! No one tells me what to do! Oh, yes they do. We'll do what you say. Now that we have that settled. Let me tell you about our plan. Why is it I always have to carry the groceries? My hands are full. <laughs> hands are full. Whoa, that's new. Maya. He never changes out of that outfit, does he? It always keeps that belt on. And that guy way in the back didn't happen to notice the crazy looking creature coming up behind him. Oh. Ready? Go. Oh, I like that. They were going to do it and then just stop them before they could touch the button. That's kind of cool. Shock me too. Oh, he got to change. Again, ow. <laughs> Who are you? You don't know me? <laughs> I'm Psycho Red. Oh, you gotta love that. <laughs> You're mine now. Should have seen that coming, dude. Faster. Who dares such insolence? Uh, they're not going to get away from me. He should know, shouldn't he? I think we lost him. Come on over here. Thanks. Whoever you are. Oh, well, for most of that, he had a black thing over his face. You're Andros. The Red Ranger. 
I was there. The day you and the Rangers saved the Earth. Who is Psycho Red? Everything you are. Except he's exactly the opposite. And twice as powerful. To stop at nothing to destroy you. Come on. They'll be coming back. Just leave your stuff there. That's fine. See you too. But right now we have to worry about the other rangers. Absolutely. I'm Mike. It's an honor to meet you. I'm picking up unusual frequencies. Locking on now. Do you suppose it's the rangers? Industrial Dome. Let's get going. Wait. I know how they think. Psycho Red didn't capture you, Leo, but they know you'll try to save your friends. You have an idea? Deca, is the power vault still sealed? Affirmative. It's time to break it open. Now this is the part that always gets me. Vault temperature dropping to normal. It is safe to enter. That's where the Silver Ranger had been, remember? They had power morphers there this whole time. Never thought I'd be needing this again. Here's the plan. We've got to surprise him, so Mike, you're going in first. Leo. With four of his friends here, it's only a matter of time before the Red Ranger shows up. <laughs> The psychos Smart. are everything you promised. Excellent work, Deviat. Oh, you are right, my queen. Thank you. With their improved powers and my brains, the rangers are as good as boom. <laughs> yeah, just as good as boom. Hey, Leo. Leo. Right on time. along an old friend bet you didn't expect to see me again you he's the only one that doesn't actually morph on screen by the way if you don't count Mike you'll be sorry you ever returned when he and I get through with you make me proud right time for a cycle ranger rumble let's do it come on You know, I have to say, considering how the Psychos repeatedly handed their butts to them last season, Andros is very brave to be trying this with just him and Leo. There's so much to do. Wait a second. This door was closed. Oh my goodness! Ay, ay, ay. Good idea. <laughs> Give up, Red Rangers. You're outnumbered. Leo! Andros! Yeah! The plan worked! We've been tricked! Anyone want to run for it? Now's the time! In your dreams. There may be seven of you, but you still don't have a chance against us. There may only be seven of us, but we can still take care of you guys. 
Yeah, I don't know. Overly confident. No, that might help. Ah, uh, yes. Granted, Carlos's hair is longer than more, but what you gonna do? It looks like they're gonna face plant, though. That's a great transition, too, by the way. Boom! Take no prisoners. Let's do it. Oh, there we go. <laughs> nice hit. How does TJ know Kai's name? Maybe he got briefed by Alpha. Leo's really the only one to use his uh, saber. That flip looked painful, though. Man, Mike has to take on Villamax and DVI by himself. Too bad they couldn't get Silver back. Zane would have been really cool. Too late. Quit while you still can. We will never quit. Lights of Orion, activate. This is the only Sentai footage in the episode. Spiral Saber, power up. Oh, that. Okay, this part too. Quadro Blaster power now. Ready. So it turns out that all that the Space Rangers needed was another set of Rangers to help them. Too bad that couldn't work out last season. Except with more rangers. <laughs> Ashley's hair really grew long. How did you know? <laughs> well, Alpha 
also not a distress signal. Just doing my job. So how'd you get there, though? <laughs> so, can you stay? Uh, not for too long. We're needed back on Earth. Hey, at least we can get a tour. <laughs> yeah, doesn't every day you get to visit Terra Venture? There's a logistical problem here, though. Give you the grand um, tour. How did they get to Terra Venture? As I recall, they even said that Terra Venture doesn't have enough fuel to get to where they've gone and back to Earth, so that's weird. Oh! Pink ain't gone yet! A little damaged, but not bad. Wasn't she damaged like this last time? Psycho Crack in the lens, damage on the shoulder. Even the clasp of the helmet looked like it was coming undone. You have disappointed me. I will give you one more chance, and this time. You will annihilate anyone and anything that comes Ooh. in your way. Next up, Hellrage Lost Galaxy. Savage Sword. <laughs> it's Psycho Pink. She's back, and she has a Savage Sword. It's more powerful than all the Quasar Sabers combined. Ah. <laughs> Ooh. So what'd you think? That's our technically second official team up of Power Ranger teams. Since the first one was, of course, Alien Rangers and Zeo Rangers. But this is the one that's going to begin the multiple years of team ups. Although when you think about it, we only got this for like, what, four years before they had to stop for the logistics? Anyway, all right, so I know this is a two-parter, but we will see the next part next time. So I hope you hope you all have a great week. And next time we will watch two more episodes of Power Rangers Lost Galaxy. And they will be The Power of Pink and Protect the Quasar Saber. I'll see you then. Thank you for listening to Ranger Chronicles. Feedback for the show can be sent to prchronicles at gmail.com or feel free to leave a comment on the show's posting at powerrangerchronicles.com. Ranger Chronicles is now on Patreon. If you'd like to support the show, please visit patreon.com slash rangerchronicles for more information. All images and music heard on the show are copyright the respective copyright holders and are used for entertainment purposes only. No infringement is intended. This show is dedicated to everyone, both in front of the camera and behind the scenes, who have worked to bring us Power Rangers since 1993. Ranger Chronicles is a proud member of the Toon True Freaks Internet Radio Network. Please be sure to stop by 2TrueFreaks.com to check out more great shows. Thank you, and may the power protect you.